In this visual walkthrough, I will guide you through what we call de-energizing a limiting belief. Remember that everything is energy and energy goes where our attention goes. So in this walkthrough, we're going to discover a limiting belief. We're going to let that belief go and bring in a new empowering belief in its place. But before we get started, what I want you to do is to think of what your intention is going to be. So it can be a simple sentence, like for example, this month I want to make $100,000 from my business, or I want to lose 20 pounds by the end of next month. So whatever your intention is, I will give you a moment to come up with it, write it down, or think of it in a simple sentence before we do this activity. And you can do this exercise standing, sitting, or even lying down. Now I'm assuming you have your intention, at least a sentence in your, in your mind. And let's begin. So first, take a deep breath in and feel how your body feels on the inside. Be willing to let go of any tension that you may be feeling at this very moment. And we'll begin as soon as you have awareness of how your body feels on the inside. What we're doing here is tapping into your energy field. Now, say your intention out loud. And as soon as you finish saying it, bring your awareness to how your body feels, seeing if you can feel any resistance to your intention. Do you notice any resistance to the sentence you just said out loud? And if not, say it again and notice how your body feels. What that resistance might feel like is that the intention that you're stating doesn't feel true. If it feels true, then you probably don't have to do this activity. But if you feel some resistance to it, thinking that it's never going to happen or you're never going to achieve it, then let's move on to step two. Step two is to notice where the resistance shows up in your body. So you say your intention out loud, all while your awareness is how your body feels, and then you notice where the resistance shows up. Now say the intention one more time out loud and notice if the resistance that you feel in your body changes, moves, or moves to a different location. What do you notice about the energy? Does it have a color? What about a size? Is it bigger or smaller than a softball? What about any movement? Is it spinning, bouncing, squishing? And what about the mass of it, the substance and texture? Is it thick and solid? Be as curious as you can as you look into this energy. Now, looking at the mass, say your intention again and notice if there's any movement. And now step three is going to be asking yourself if you're willing to let this energy go. If the answer is yes, then step four is to gently reach in in your mind's eye, grabbing the energy mass with both hands and bringing it out in front of you, carefully holding on to it. Now looking at this energy with complete curiosity, you're now going to ask it what it is here for. Why did it show up? What does it represent? And just notice what answer you get. Then ask it, what limiting belief do you stand for? When you say this intention out loud, what is the belief that comes in behind it? 
that is limiting you from attaining it. For example, if I want to lose weight in the next two months, the limiting belief behind it might be you're not going to lose weight because you're not willing to stop eating the foods that are bad for you, or remember what you did last time, or you've not been successful thus far, this time isn't going to be any different. You can also ask if it has a message to give you. Sometimes this energy is there to deliver information to you. So with the most curiosity you can muster, ask it, do you have anything to tell me? And now, does this energy mass represent a specific negative emotion regarding your intention? It could be fear, helplessness, insecurity, or anything like that. Just notice what emotion it might be carrying. And when you are ready, in step five, we're going to let it go. In order to do this, you're gonna picture a beautiful garden with flowers and shrubbery and see an archway that is titled, My Transformational Garden. Carry this energy, walk into the garden, follow a stone path, finding a freshly dug hole that you're going to place this mass into. Remember, energy can be transformed, transmuted, or transcended. We're going to transform it in this guided meditation. Take the energy and place it into the hole and put dirt upon it. And as you stand there watching, giving this energy back to Mother Earth, watch it grow into a beautiful flower, plant, or shrub. feeling complete gratitude for the energy being there because for some reason it was there to protect you. And now giving thanks for the energy transforming into something beautiful, giving it back to Mother Earth. Now bring your awareness back to where this energy was removed from. You should feel a void. Now at this point, say your intention again and see if there's any other resistance showing up in the body. If it does, then go through the process again, pulling the energy out in front of you and planting it in your garden. If there is no more resistance when you say your intention, if you feel neutral about it, then we're going to move on to the next phase. We're going to replace the energy with new empowering energy to fill that void. Now thinking of the emotion that that mass represented, ask yourself, what empowering emotion do I need to support my new intention? It could be confidence, determination, self-love, trust, anything like that. And you can pick one or two emotions, whatever you need that will support your intention. Now we're going to go out into the universe to bring that emotion to us. Picture the vastness of the universe and go to where your new empowering emotion is located. There is a special supply that's for you and you can get as much of this empowering emotion that you need. The supply is for you alone, so take as much as you need and understand that it replenishes itself and doesn't deplete 
from anyone else's supply. You're going to go to the supply. You're going to breathe in the new empowering emotion that you need for this intention. Picturing this emotion coming to you in the form of light energy. What color is the emotion? And you're going to bring that back and form a ball at the top of your head. And now ask yourself, do you need anything else? And if there's another emotion that comes to you, then do the same thing. Go out into the universe to get it, breathe it in, and allow it to form a ball at the top of your head. Now, if you have more than one ball, merge them all together in one. Don't mix the colors, but just move it into one ball. And now with a deep breath, you're going to breathe it in through the top of your head, letting it saturate your being. Bring it down now through your body and right to the place where we de-energized the stuck energy. Watching it fill you up, saturating the cells, the bloodstream, the muscles, bones, and organs. allowing this new empowering energy to swirl around. And understand now that as you give this energy an intention of what it is you want it to do, and in this case, we want it to empower us and support the intention, understand now that this energy has a job. So you don't have to keep giving it your attention. You can just place your attention on it and allow it to go. This is one of those times where you have to trust the process. Now stand back and look at your body swirling with this new empowered energy. And ask yourself, what is the new empowering belief that supports your intention? Form this into a simple sentence. What you had before was called a disempowering belief or a limiting belief. You would say your intention and you felt the discord of it because the belief that you held was not in alignment with the intention. As we de-energize that limiting belief, you now have an empowering belief that goes with your intention. So when you say your intention out loud, you should feel the power, the alignment with your goal. So when you read your intention out loud or say it out loud, what is the new belief? Say that as well. This new belief is the foundation that this intention sits on. You now are in alignment with your goal. When you say your intention in the beginning as a guided meditation, you notice that there was a disempowering belief. What well, now you have is a new empowering belief, new empowered energy. You are now in alignment with your intention. Now I would recommend writing your intention or your belief statement using the colors of the empowering emotions that you brought in from the universe. Creating a poster or a visual, you could use anything you want to write this on or draw it. You could add stickers, use markers, paint, whatever you want to help you embed this new empowering intention with your new empowering emotions, giving you a clear visual to look at. Seeing the statement throughout the day, upon rising and before you go to bed is such a great way to add this power 
to your intention. Here you will be conditioning the subconscious mind as to what you want. And now you have the empowering belief to go with it. And as you set your goals and desires from now on, and you say it out loud, notice if there's any resistance or discord to your intention. And if there is, then come back and do this meditation again. 